We are in the busy months of the professional rodeo schedule, but if the regular season was over today, Bridger Anderson would be happy and Cameron Mormon would be sad. Anderson is ninth in the world standings in steer wrestling. The Carrington native has over 40,000 in earnings so far this season. Now remember, you need to be in the top 15 in the world to qualify for the national finals in Las Vegas. Mormon would not be happy because he is currently 16th in the world, one place below the cutoff. The Glenola native has won over three grand last week, though, moving him up six places in the standings. A handful of local athletes had an excellent showing at the college NFR. Abby Hepper of Keene finished third in the nation in barrel racing. Her time was 14.05. And Morgan Foss of Bowman took seventh in the breakaway. The Dickinson State standout had a 12-1, though, in the short go. Chancey Kraft of Carson finished 15th in the breakaway. She competes for Black Hill State. And Bowman's Cache McGee took 15th in goat tying. She is also a member of the Yellow Jackets rodeo team. Once a summer, it seems like the Larks have a double header day that includes a game in the morning, and today is that day. Mankato, though, scored 14 runs to beat Bismarck in the AM start. Game two tonight postponed due to that rain. They will play a double header tomorrow. The Big Sticks are playing in Wyoming, and Royce Van Dyne just hit a go ahead two run home run for the Sticks in the top of the ninth. Class A Legion Baseball, the A's hosting the Capitals in Mandan. A little bit earlier start here in game one. Second inning, though, the bats would come alive for the Capitals. Logan Herman cracks that one down the third uh, baseline. Grady Swanson scores. The next batter is Connor Schatz. He lines this ball over second base in the center field. Jacob Pearson uh, scores to make the Capitals lead by two runs. This game, though, the score 8-5, to five. it was called in the fourth due to that weather, so the Capitals were leading at that point. The Red Sox beat the Twins 10-4 to four tonight, and in Legion Baseball, Hazen and the 15s from Bismarck split a doubleheader in Hazen. It's McQuaid week in Bismarck Mandan. Over 400 softball teams will be playing, and it seems like there is something new each year. And this summer, they will be playing inside walls and razor wire on the morning of June 23rd. For the first time, we're going to be playing an exhibition game on Friday morning at 10 o'clock oh, okay. out at the penitentiary. Oh. Uh, so the USA Patriots are going to go out there and play a, a team made up of residents out there. They have a league out at the penitentiary, and um, Travis Collins from the Penitentiary Recreation Department contacted us and thought, you know, can we make this work some way or other? Wolf said the residents are also collecting for the tournament charity and we'll have much more on the McQuaid and more from Mike tomorrow in the Sports Spotlights. Well, Dan Carr, Dan Schmeeker, and Larry Sandy have something in common other than being outstanding coaches. They all received the Special Achievement Award from the Sportscasters and Sports Writers Association. Carr is the winningest high school basketball coach in North Dakota history. He retired as the head coach of Linton HMB with 801 victories and three championships. Schmeeker retired after 45 years as the head football coach at St. Mary's. His Saints won 295 games and had eight championship victories. And like the other two, Sandy recently retired. He was a head football coach at Velva for the last 33 years, winning 10 state titles. The Dakota and Non-School Awards will be, will be released.